My name is Ian McFarland. I am the director and producer of, well, one of the producers of The Godfathers of Hardcore. And I'm Jarvis. I, uh, I was a director of photography for the film. The film was about two uh, of the most influential underground figures in underground music, uh, Roger Moret and Vinny Stigma uh, from the iconic hardcore punk rock band uh, Agnostic Front. Um, they met each other on the streets of New York City in the early 1980s. Uh, during a, a blossoming uh, birth of a scene uh, called uh, Hardcore. And um, they slowly, over time, gained fame and a notoriety um, over the years. And um, they've now moved into their 50s and 60s. And um, there's a lot going on in their 50s and 60s versus when they were kids. They're kind of like the odd couple of music. Um, Absolutely. They're like two brothers that love each other, hate each other, will do anything for each other. They've been through everything together. And the band is really, and their friendship is the only constant that they've had in their lives forever. So they're now, like I said, in their 50s and 60s, and that, and, and, and that adds a whole nother uh, element to being in a band, um, especially when you're playing music that's really based around you know, younger groups, um, but they're very respected and they believe in their, uh, their music and, 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 and their band. And they end up being, in, in my opinion, um, kind of ambassadors for uh, a culture of music that means a lot to a lot of people, including us. Mm -hmm. Being the, uh, you know, an unofficial member of the band was kind of the coolest thing ever. It was really, uh, it was really fun to, you know, I lived on the tour bus, we, we lived with Roger, we lived with Vinny. Um, I think that was my favorite part. It was it was cool, and and um, just to be able to document their personal lives was very interesting. You don't see these guys um, off the stage usually. They're not they're not very exposed to the world. So it was interesting to get fully immersed into it and and <clears throat> just capture their daily lives, see what they're like not on stage because they're not these tough guys. They're pretty soft soft guys. That, that are real people that they're deal real with people. real life problems. Yeah, and and I think that's what kind of um, people are walking away with. When we finished the film, I uh, immediately, the first two film festivals I submitted to was Doc MIC and Rain Dance. Those are the first two. And I said, if I can get into one of those, I will feel like I made it. And um, we got into both. Yeah. So that was a pretty big thing. So everything in between has been wonderful, but I had a lot of friends that have attended this festival, a lot of filmmakers that have been in this festival. And everybody always kept on telling me, you got to get into Rain Dance. Everybody's really, really cool. Everybody really supports filmmakers, not just films, but the filmmakers, and understand, you know, what they're uh, what they're, you know, going through and, and what what they need. And um, it's a good thing. I spent a lot of time yesterday talking with, you know, uh, Elliot and uh, Suzanne, um, and um, they just they they I think they really care about what they do and. Um, yeah, I'm just honored to be here, to be honest with you. Yeah, same here. Yeah. I've never been to London, so this was pretty amazing <laughs> to come over here. Yeah. Uh, actually, a lot of firsts on this film. First time to Europe for this film. Yeah, uh, yeah first time to London. So, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited to be a part of Raindance.